Welcome to pre-math. In this video we have got this uh, yellow square fully confined uh, in a circle as you can see in this uh, diagram such that the area of this uh, yellow square is 144 centimeter square whereas uh, this uh, red cord is uh, 24 centimeter long. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, yellow square whose uh, area has been given to us uh, as 144 centimeter square. And now let's recall the area of a square formula, area equal to S square, where S represents the side length uh, of the square. So therefore the side length uh, of this uh, yellow square could be figured out by just putting uh, 144 equal to S square. Let me go ahead and undo this square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides and here square and square root undo each other. So our side length of this uh, square turns out to be positive uh, 12 centimeter. So therefore uh, this side length of this square is 12. This is uh, 12 and this is 12 uh, across the board. And now let's focus uh, on uh, this uh, chord. Its uh, length is uh, 12 and moreover the distance between uh, these uh, two chords uh, is uh, 12 centimeter as well. And in this uh, next step we are going to focus only on these uh, two chords uh, and the distance between them is uh, 12. And we know that this uh, bigger chord AB is uh, 24 centimeter whereas uh, this smaller chord uh, CD is uh, 12. And here in this uh, next step I have dropped uh, this uh, perpendicular EF that passes through this uh, center O. And now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem. According to this theorem, if a radius uh, of a circle is perpendicular to the chord, then the radius uh, bisects the chord. So therefore, uh, this perpendicular EF is going to bisect uh, this chord AB into two equal parts. Uh, this uh, side length equal to this side length. So this side length uh, of this half of this one is going to be 12 and this side length is going to be 12 centimeter as well. And likewise uh, we are going to divide uh, this chord CD into two equal parts. This side length equal to this side length. So this side length is uh, 6 uh, and this side length is uh, 6 centimeter as well. And in this uh, next step I have uh, connected uh, this center O with this uh, point uh, B and with this uh, point uh, D as well. And as a result we got these uh, two right triangles. Uh, this triangle OFB and this uh, right triangle OED. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, OB is the radius of this uh, circle. Let me call this radius as uh, lowercase r and likewise this OD is the radius uh, as well. Let me call this one as uh, lowercase as well. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, right triangle uh, OFB. Let's assume that this uh, side length uh, OF uh, is uh, X and we know that this whole uh, side length uh, is uh, 12. So therefore uh, this uh, segment is going to be 12 uh, minus uh, X. So that's how this uh, length uh, OE turns out to be 12 minus X and this uh, OF uh, is X. And now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me call our longest leg as our side c. I'm going to call this side a and this side lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. a in our case is x. So this become x square plus b is 12 square equal to c in our case is r. So this is going to become r square. So let's go ahead and simplify. This is going to become uh, x square plus 144 equal to r square. Let me call this our equation uh, number one. And now let's focus on another right triangle uh, OED. And we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, right triangle as well. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again. a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me call our longest leg as our side c. 
I'm going to call uh, this side uh, lowercase a and this uh, lowercase b. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. A in our case is uh, 12 minus x whole square plus uh, b in our case is 6 whole square equal to c is r. It's become uh, r square. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as uh, a square minus 2ab plus uh, b square. We are going to apply it uh, on this uh, binomial. So therefore we are going to have a 144 minus uh, 24x uh, plus uh, x uh, square plus uh, this uh, 6 square is going to give us uh, 36 equal to r square. Let's go ahead and combine the like terms on the left hand side. So we can write uh, x square minus uh, 24 x plus 180 equals to r square. Let me call this our equation number 2. And here we are ended up with these two equations, number 1 and 2. Now let's go ahead and compare these two equations since the right and sides are same. So we can equate the left hand sides as well. So therefore I can write x square plus 144 equal to x square minus 24 x plus 180 and now we can see this x square and x square is gone let me go ahead and move this negative 24 x on the left hand side and at the very same time i'm going to move this 144 on the right hand side as well so therefore we got 24 x equal to 180 minus 144. In other words, we got 24x equal to 36. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by 24 to isolate x. So therefore, x turns out to be equal to, if we reduce this thing, that is going to give us 3 divided by 2 centimeter. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and substitute x equal to 3 divided by 2 value in uh, equation 1. And here's our equation 1. Let's go ahead and substitute uh, this x value by this uh, 3 divided by 2 to solve for uh, our radius uh, r. So therefore, let's go ahead and plug it in. So this is going to become uh, 3 divided by 2 whole uh, square plus uh, 144 equal to r square. And now we can see 3 divided by 2 square is going to give us 9 divided by 4 plus uh, 144 equal to r square and in this uh, next step i have multiplied and divided uh, by 4 to get this 576 uh, divided by 4 and as a result we got the same uh, denominator 4 and if we simplify everything uh, our radius uh, r square value turns out to be 585 uh, divided by 4 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, circle and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area equals to pi r square and in our case uh, the radius r square is uh, 585 uh, divided by 4 so therefore the area of this uh, circle is going to be pi times uh, r in our case r square rather is uh, 585 divided by 4 or the area could also be written as 585 pi all over 4 centimeter square. So thus here is the area of this uh, circle and this is going to be equal to 459.46 uh, centimeter square. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.